everyone it's Danny welcome back to my channel as you can probably tell from the title of this video this is my quarterly layout share the first one for the year 2020 so these are all the 12 by 12 and eight and a half by 11 layouts I have done since the start of the year through to the end of March I'm not going to be able to show you all of them because a couple of them are design team projects that haven't been released yet but everything else I will show you so I have a 12 by 12 storage container here full pretty much full of layouts I actually don't make that many layouts I don't think compared to some other people uh, but I'm going to show you what I've made I can't show you my pocket pages because they're all in their albums and I can't remember which is which so I'm just going to turn this over upside down and start from the bottom so we can sort of go in chronological order I do not scrap chronologically I'll show you these in the order that I scrap them in <laughs> You'll have to forgive any background noise. My son is home. Um, I think everyone's dealing with more people at home during the day than usual at the moment. So so this one was for the Spiegel Mum Scraps blog. They asked me to be a guest designer for the month of January. So I made this beautiful wreath out of some glitter gel sequins, some inked wood veneer, some little crystal stars and some paper stars photo of my little boy when he was only a few months old and this is using the Coco Vanilla Studio Happiness Collection. This one was for the Confessions of a Paper Addict design team using the uh, full corner I think it's called. I cut it twice and sort of cut it up so this is the one cut file and this is the other one. I used a large photo. This is an 8 by 10 I think. I did a bunch of splatters up onto the photo with ink and a few sequins and this was made using I think the background paper is the Simple Stories I Am collection the old one and then everything else is a Rosie Studio collection I think maybe Briarwood this one was for Scrap the Boys I think it was for January maybe it was February yeah it would have been for the February challenge so but I did it in January obviously to come out for the February challenge wood grain background lots of splatters some paper tearing Pretty simple layout, but I think it's really effective. And this was using the Coco Vanilla Studio Boys Rule Collection. And 8x11, or 8.5x11, it's A4 technically. For Confessions of a Paper Addict, I used the Llama Cut File. I did paper fringing. I used, I think this background paper is an Aldi paper pack. But the ephemera is Rosie Studio Let's Get Together. So it has these llamas in that collection. These llamas are 3D stickers from the Reject Shop. I got them years ago photo of me at the alpaca farm on my honeymoon. This was the second guest design layout I did for Spiegel Mum Scraps blog um, using obviously lots of sequins. <laughs> so I did this big three out of sequins and then put a bunch of threes, <laughs> a bunch of different threes on the page. So I did some negative cutouts on my silhouette cameo. Um, some of these are just cut out on my silhouette cameo, this one. Some of them are just thickers like these ones. This one and this one are hand stitched. This one's like a pointillism pen effect. This one was um, done with paint. And then I just added some more sequins kind of around my photo and some paper tearing and spiders in the background, obviously. This was Coco Vanilla Boy's Rule as well. It was his third birthday, obviously. This is a baby layout for Confessions of a Paper Addict. I used the Best Friends Cut File. I used a bit of tissue paper for the lamb's wool. And I put googly eyes on the animals. <laughs> I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Again, using Rosie's Studio Briarwood, I think. It's really sweet. It's not a baby layout, but I, I just find it really sweet to use. Just a few little clusters. Really pretty. I love this one. Another Cobra Cut Files layout. So this one has warped quite a bit. I made this background, gosh, ages and ages ago when I was using up some leftover paint. So I just pulled it out for this layout. Kind of ruined it a little bit because I put bulldog clips on it to try and um, flatten it out and they've dented the paper but uh, I might just go around with a pen maybe and try and cover that up a bit if I can even be bothered honestly I really like it anyway I don't mind the imperfections it's the feathered arrow cut file I cut it out on a navy card stock it turned out so beautifully these are some acetate feathers from a Rosie Studio collection I can't remember which <laughs> It's an old one, I can't remember what it's called. The paper collection is Coco Vanilla Studio Bohemian Dreams. Don't have a lot of that collection left, but it's so pretty. So I'm kind of hoarding it. <laughs> um, I use quite a lot of sequins on this, so um, I haven't glued the feather all the way down. 
on these bits where you can kind of see through the feather I lined up sequins behind so they peek through so you can't see it super well on camera but in real life they really sparkle through those gaps so I really love that and then I just put lots of sequins sort of trailing cascading down the page this is my son can't actually remember when six months old five months old around about then this was another Copa Cut Files layout. <laughs> it's a lot of these, actually. Um, I just, as soon as I saw this dump truck cut file, I knew that I had to use this photo for it. This was him at the uh, Monster Machinery Day that they, well, I don't know whether they still do it, but they used to do it um, down the Gold Coast. And it's just a day where they have lots of um, construction equipment. The kids can go around to look at it and um, a couple of them, they can sit in the cabs and sort of have a play. So this was him driving a, not a dump truck, but a backhoe. Um, so I altered the cut file a bit to make the window really large and so I could pop him <laughs> pop him in there. I just I love how it turned out. I'm so happy with it. I did some torn cardstock down the bottom here to look like dirt or mud. Ruffle up the edges. Lots of splatters. Splatters in the background up here. Really kind of grungy, dirty, boyish layout. I really love how it turned out. This is Coco Vanilla Studio uh, Boys Collection. I can't remember which. It's probably a combination actually of Boys Rule and You Rog. And my neighbor's dog has just started barking, so that will be, it'll be going for at least three hours. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just going to have to keep going. Once it starts, it just continues for hours. This was Scrap the Boys for maybe for March. The prompt was When I Grow Up, so I used a really big photo. This was A4 originally, and I've trimmed it down a little bit. But this is my son at daycare just before he graduated. They actually um, did up these photos for the graduation ceremony to have across the wall. Um, so I asked for um, for his when they were finished with it. So I brought it home. I used the Pink Fresh Studio Indigo Hills, the first one collection. It's got lots of blues and yellows in it. So um, I've layered the the printed vellum or the foiled vellum from that collection. Just a few labels and hearts and sequins and things that didn't need a lot of embellishment, obviously, because so much of the page is taken up with the photo. But I did a large title here and then I did a lot of journaling down the side here. I actually used a bit of washi tape on this one too, which I don't do often. This one I made for the Unscrapped Bundle of Joy series with Melissa Vining. You can find her here on YouTube. We do a monthly series where we scrap a photo of our youngest because we are trying to get their baby albums finished. So this was my, um, I think this was mine actually for February, but we didn't end up uploading that month because uh, we got, well, Melissa got really busy, so we just bumped it to the next month. I used, uh, this background paper is really old from an old scrapbooking like kit that I bought from a dollar store like 10 years ago. <laughs> so using up some stash on this one. This paper, I couldn't tell you which collection it's from. It's from an old paper pad that I bought at least, yeah, over 10 years ago before I was married. And it's kind of like a quilt paper. So you can see there's like a fabric design and then stitched uh, printed on there. So I cut this paper up into all its individual squares and popped each square up on foam and then laid them out in a grid design, which uh, let me tell you, it took me a while because it's not straight on the page. I, <laughs> I actually put this paper down first, this bottom white paper, folded the edge over and then decided to lay these out in rows. And it's really hard to line things up once you don't have a, a straight line to follow. So I started here and then sort of just tried to make everything pretty straight from here. I succeeded pretty well, I think, but it, to tell you what, it was a challenge, like down here and here was a challenge. And then obviously I've gone through and hand stitched in between each and every <laughs> little square. That took me a long time as well. This layout was definitely a labor of love. Didn't do much embellishment because it's already quite a lot with all that. So I just used a few bits and pieces from mainly from Echo Park, um, Hello Baby, the girl collection. And I just did my journaling and white gel pen around the edge because there was literally nowhere else to do it. Okay, this is another Copa Cut Files one. I used the Valentine's banner. Uh, I just adore. I adore this one. It's so, so sweet. I think this background paper is from Love Always from Coco Vanilla Studio. Ephemera might be from that collection as well. I went through and backed some of the hearts, um, some of the pieces. So this is blank up here and here. This part I've left blank. This one, this one's completely blank. So a few of these I just left empty. This one I just backed the little hearts inside. I didn't back the whole heart. Just wanted this one to be kind of light and soft and pretty. So I just did a couple of clusters either side of the photo. This is my title here. And then just not even really a cluster. I just added a few more pieces around this larger heart just to sort of create that triangle. And in the background, I just did a little bit of gesso, white gesso behind the hearts. Might have been acrylic paint. Either or, anyway, something white. <laughs> and some pink spiders, you can see. It's just acrylic paint, I think. 
and machine stitched onto a pink cardstock border. Another Cobra Cat Piles one. <laughs> this was for the first release for the March birthday celebrations that we had over in the group. Um, we had weekly releases and I'm pretty sure I used a cut file for from that week's release for every project that I did that month, which um, we didn't have to do. It was just something I was trying to kind of challenge myself to do because every time there's a new cut file release, there's always heaps that I want to use and I don't know, it's kind of hard to decide. So I kind of just made myself pick one from each release. So this was made using, it was from the reject shop an oh happy day it's called and it's a new collection but i don't know whether it's from rosie's studio because i haven't seen them actually release that one yet so it was lots of um they had a few fully clovers in it so i think it was kind of meant to be a little bit springtime st patrick's day easter themed it's not overtly any of those themes specifically i did uh, a pattern paper border i did this is just white cardstock with um, some splatters quite a few splatters <laughs> and a little bit of packaging technique yeah just very faintly back here um, the cut file i kind of went crazy embellishing that so i backed the cut file with different pattern papers and then i just tucked in little bits all the way around so little leaves little bird a little plant butterflies on the mushroom here so i just love all those little details kind of peeking out from the cut file and then i just did a couple of smaller clusters just around my photo here mainly because there's a rubbish bin and like a table and things in the background of this photo that I wanted to cover up they're a bit ugly um, and then this is just to balance out the the weight of the at the bottom of the page so just a little bit more <laughs> weight to the top of the page there uh, a title I did a bit of hand lettering on this one and then there's my journaling so this is another Cobra Cut Files one I actually did I did a bunch kind of back to back because I was trying to get ahead <laughs> with my design team work so I do tend to work that way if I can because while I'm in the zone I just want to get like everything punched out so <laughs> this is the You Are My Sunshine cut file. I cut it out on orange and then I backed it with this amazing holographic paper. So it doesn't look like much, kind of like that, but then when you get it in the light, it's just incredible. So I really, really love that. Multi photo layout I use two photos. They're both uh, roughly square. The background paper and the embellishments are from a Coco Vanilla Studio Hello Sunshine collection. I just did a doodly border. There are a few splatters, not that you can really see on this background, but just a couple of embellishments and some enamel dots and then my journaling here. I did quite a few paper layers and obviously the cut file is very like that. That paper is very eye-catching, so I didn't want to pile this layout full of stuff. So I kept it really simple and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I also went ahead and did some um, pen accents on my title here and then there's some white and some sort of black outline on this one as well just to kind of help it stand out a bit more this has got to be one of my favorite layouts i've ever done another cobra cut files one it's the carousel cut file it's just the most incredible cut file ever and i can't wait to get some photos of my daughter on a carousel because i'm going to use this again <laughs> definitely so i used a bit of maggie holmes carousel obviously <laughs> i have the paper pad but uh, that's about it so i use quite a few of the papers this is from that collection i cut the scalloped paper up and kind of laid it laid it up with a bit of foam was it foam no it's just bent up the cut file is up on foam though i've used some glitter cardstock backing the carousel i've done a couple of little clusters down here with some rosie studio bits and pieces the title is a foiled sticker from a rosie studio collection and then these stickers are just puffies from the dollar store from the reject shop some balloons and some clouds and a hot air balloon and just a few splatters in the background nothing much the cut file in itself is so intricate and gorgeous i did add some rhinestones as accents i kind of put them in strategic places where they made sense on the cut file and then in this little string of fairy lights that is on the cut file i added rhinestones to all of those as well i love how this turned out my photos aren't great they're pretty poor quality they were taken at a distance and on a phone so you know they're pretty grainy so i just printed them really small and trimmed most of the background off and just tucked them in there so you can still see his little smile you can still see he's having a good time but you know it doesn't it's not so obvious the photos aren't great so ha really happy to have that one documented and then i think we have my first design team layout for coco vanilla studio design team this is using the new legendary collection it's a boy masculine outdoor themed layout so this is one of the pattern papers that i fussy cut this mandala and design out of popped it up on foam i've hand stitched on top of it covered up quite a bit of it which is kind of heartbreaking but um i didn't do the bit under the photo so don't, yeah don't worry about that i've done all this part um, i've just covered up the bits where the title is but you can still see it peeking out between the letters i used what was left of that paper to make a border on my white background this was a um, pre-made mixed media background I made using some watercolors and some distress oxide inks and I kept the embellishment minimal on this page for obvious reasons because there's so much going on so I have this really large title I added some of these clear stickers and the enamel dots just a few of the star die cuts 
a couple of little die cuts here and there and then a label for my date love this one i love this photo so much this turned out absolutely perfectly i'm really really happy with it this one is a hot mess on the back check that out <laughs> all those bits but the front looks amazing so this is one I made in a live video for Copa Cut Files in the Facebook group for the birthday celebration. I created a challenge and that was to mix different metallics on a layout. So I used quite a few on here. I used the Stitch Clouds Cut File. I went ahead and stitched this off camera before I did the live. And then I had my silhouette cut out all the raindrops. And that's why the back looks like that because I've just sort of gone through and glued the squares behind the raindrops. <laughs> I've done some silver and some gold and some blue and it's all glitter cardstock that I've used to back the raindrops with. I really like the effect of that. Um, I did gold and silver splatters on the background. I've mixed some gold and silver ephemera and embellishments. I did try to get some copper on here, but I don't think I succeeded. Most of this ephemera is from a Rosie Studio. Indigo Mist, that's the one. I'm pretty sure that's a collection. And these raindrop epoxy stickers were from Daiso. They're really cool. I'm really happy I've got lots of those in the layout. They actually look really 3D and really wet <laughs> and real. I really like that. I love how this one turned out. This was for Scrap the Boys for April. This is a really old collection I had sitting in my stash. It's a birthday kit that I bought from, again, like a dollar shop, like probably 10 years ago. So I am probably going to de-stash a lot of it. I won't use much of it, to be honest, but I really like the background paper, so I pulled that out to use. These cupcakes are from Copa Cut Files. Um, they come in a set with a slice of cake cut file as well. So I just cut three of these. One of them I flipped horizontally to make it look a bit different. Backed them with different papers and then added Nouveau drops as sprinkles, which look really cool in 3D. These little gifts are fussy cut from a pattern paper. This flare is from Coco Vanilla Studio. Make a wish. Um, texture paste in the background and some little um, white sequins. I also went in with my white gel pen and drew some circles as well. And two photos. This is my son's second birthday. In this photo he is crying because we're singing him happy birthday and I had told him he couldn't eat his cupcake yet so he thought he wasn't allowed to eat them ever. <laughs> so he was bawling his eyes out. <laughs> uh, but then in this photo I let him have his cupcake once we'd finished eating and he's all happy again. So, <laughs> oh he was such a cutie. <laughs> This one was for Copa Cut Files as well. I did a lot in March, so <laughs> before the March uh, birthday celebration. So that's why um, there's so many. I think I did four design team layouts and then I did some extras for lives and things. So there's there's quite a lot. This is the graduation cut file, obviously. So I cut the, the mortarboard and the diploma out. And this title comes with the cut file as well. This one I just cut myself out of um, a font on my silhouette. The collection is Kaisercraft Class Act. It's really quite old. It's a few years old now, but it's all school themed and like obviously it's perfect. So this was him graduating, you know, kindergarten. They did a, a photo shoot, obviously. They had a professional photographer in and dress them up. And <laughs> could that be any more perfect, that photo? It just it surpassed all my wildest expectations. I was so happy with them. And this cut file was perfect. This collection came with these little... Um, rosettes which I just thought was perfect to go right there. I've done some notebook punching. Just some very teeny tiny white splatters in the background. And a few little clusters. I kind of broke the cluster rule here adding the shelf but I feel like this kind of all goes in together with the title and the journaling so bright and colorful and just I'm just really happy with how this turned out. This is my second layout for the Coco Vanilla Studio design team. Again using Legendary. For this layout, I was challenged to a feature flare on my layout. So I've used three on this layout and I used a, a Copa Cut file, of course. Um, I really love this gumball machine, but I didn't know when I would be able to use it. But I thought a layout using flare would be perfect because it's all circles and I can just bring more circles in. So uh, this is a layout of my son eating ice cream at one of our restaurants that no longer exists. Um, but when he was little, uh, I think this is one of the first times he had ice cream and you can sort of see the progression of him, you know, enjoying his bowl of ice cream it's just a very everyday kind of uh, memory not a milestone by any means but it was just really really sweet I love the photos so really pleased to get so many photos on this layout I have obviously used I've used three flare I have put this one down here in the little slot as if it's coming out of the machine I was really pleased with that <laughs> um, and then I went through and I punched out a bunch of quarter inch circles out of all the pattern papers as well to sort of bring more of the circular element in done a few paper layers here and stitched I've done a few splatters my title and then just a few lines of journaling and this is the last one this was made during my live stream near the end of March I absolutely adore how this turned out it's mostly crepe paper sunny days this is all fussy cut from one of the six by eight pattern papers 
This is a carousel paper. The butterflies are again cut from the 6x8 paper pad and these paper layers behind my photo are as well. This is just white cardstock, just a few gold splatters. I've kept actually the bottom of this really quite simple. Made this cut for myself. I found a free clip art of a teacup and just traced it in silhouette. I actually pulled out my husband's baby album that I'm working on. Do a quick flip through. I'm just covering this up because he's he's kind of he's kind of naked in this one. <laughs> So this is one I actually made a long, long time ago, um, but I just did the base. I didn't actually decorate it. I just did the background with the ink and just one photo mat and I think the paper strip. So that was it. Um, I didn't add any embellishments. My style was a lot different back then. Uh, I've changed a lot. So I just wanted to add a few more embellishments. So I've just added some stickers in. These are Echo Park Hello Baby and a few of these, I think there's just, just from a Kaiser Craft sticker book. This is a little like pull up. It's in a pocket with the tab because he's fully naked in that one so I just kind of want that um, hidden. This one you can just sort of just see the edge of his bottom so <laughs> I'm not too worried about that. This is a page of him out in his pram so just a very simple. I keep them quite simple and I don't worry too much about rules. This is him with his auntie so just a big title. There's only a little photo. Some paper tearing, a few splatters, really simple. Okay another one. Just They're just cute baby pictures you know as he grows so Cute little bob, just a few bits and pieces. I try to use up my stash if I can. This has a bit of washi here and here. Um, this is out of my stash. This label's another stash. This is him with this sister. So I've done some tissue paper ruffling. I've done some just hand lettered title here. Really love how this one turned out. It's really pretty. And that's all the ones I've done. And I've done a couple of cards, but those have been given to people now, so I can't show you. So not including the one that I couldn't show you, I have 20, <laughs> exactly. Exactly 20 layouts. So really not many for three months. I studied over summer this year. So I went all through Christmas and New Year and all of January and summer February studying. Had one week off and then went straight back into semester one and then all this virus stuff has happened. And while a lot of people have been able to stay home and not had to work and not had to really do anything else and just had a lot of time to craft, I have still got my full uni course load and now I have extra stuff I have to do because I won't be able to sit my exams. Plus I still have all my other responsibilities and work from home that I have, have to do. So really not a lot has changed for me. I'm still really busy. So um, yeah, I, I wish I had just some time to chillax and sit at home and play with my kids and craft and and all that but I don't have <laughs> I don't have a lot of spare time so I'm just getting stuff done where I can but I'm really happy with pretty much every single I don't think there's one in here I didn't like how it turned out I was really happy with everything so amazingly there's usually a couple that I say oh I don't know how I feel about this one but I'm really really loving everything I've made so far this year so that is you know that's a win for me <laughs> So thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed this layout chair. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. I, I think I have to say, I think it's this one. So not planned. I just sort of really put it together on the fly, but it just turned out so pretty. And I love this photo of her. She's just so beautiful. It's a really genuine, happy smile from her. And they're outdoors, so you can really see how blue her eyes are. Makes me really happy. So that is everything from me. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Man. This first one was for these. What was that? Did something break? Um. Oh, what's the collection called? Can't actually remember the collection. It's not Briarwood, it's the other one. Indigo. Indigo. Miss. All the little stickers are just from the dollar store. The dollar store. Mom. Yes, mate. Yeah, mate? Uh, sure. Great. Okay.